Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Balthazar Gelt playthrough here as the Golden Order, where, well, we've just finished up our little war here, we are currently at peace, I think, with everybody, but it is time to prepare for the War of Wars over here, where, to be fair, we'll get lots of really good resources, um... But yeah, we are, are going to go for the green skins, guys. I know I've got some quest battles and things to do, which I will get going, but not quite yet. Um, what do I want for you? That army does need a bit of rejigging. Um... I look at the colours of that. The land provides. You summon me. I am the supreme patriarch. Do not waste my potential. Look at the cost of it. What's, look at its upkeep. Wow. I mean, it is substantially better. Ouch. That is going to be being moved into Gelt's army uh, with a few other bits and pieces. Uh, then we'll start Once building this place, this army up properly. That'll do for now. For this green skin campaign, I want multiple good, solid armies, guys. Um, I mean, ideally, we'll move our armies in tandem and we will cause maximum sort of damage as we push. But we do want to be quite careful there uh, with exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it. Um, potentially, I'm going to end up in another war up here with um, Ostermark, but we'll deal with that when we deal with that. Otherwise, yeah, we, we'll deal with things as, as and when they happen. But, you know, I know the Empire isn't friend, happy with us, but we've got plenty of options here. Oh, now that's nasty, because I think they ambushed their um, Tabakland Tabak army as it went back. Um, and the orcs are going to hit me. I need to have an army stationed around here to watch for any incursions while we're hitting them. Um, it's going to be a hard invasion, even with three solid armies. I'd potentially be better having multiple smaller armies, but go on, elves, settle. Huntsman General. So. I'm tempted to drop that out. But that actually seems like a good idea to me. These guys have all got some veterancy, so I'm happy with that. Still got them who are armor piercing and mobile. I don't necessarily need as many of these. I could swap some of them out, but no. Onwards. I am ready. Are you? The nation calls. 14 turns until we can get another one of those. It's still good. Uh, that's maxing him out. We're next. I don't really need the extra anti large. Get another siege tank into there. I think working on here now to uh, buff up that and get certainly making my siege tanks and war war wagons much tougher. Huntsman General, it's very worth doing. You 
can also head this way to pick up some siege tanks. Get a move on. Do we need to be? Oh no, here's already fine. So we do have the uh, Noodle Can Foundry, which is quite nice and does get us some shinies, but that's the main thing: is the reduction of upkeep for stuff there. I don't really need both of those buildings. Here is going to be turned a bit more into. I'm going to keep that. Uh, yeah, because I want the armory, but we're going to get a lot more uh, production set up, of a production set up there, an income set up. I don't need the... Just saying that, I'm going to skip there anyway for now. There we go. Basically, I want two really tough armies and one decent army. The decent army is going to be my more defensive army, sort of down around here. Kind of, I'm going to position my two armies around here for now. Um, if anything comes up this way, it's got to go through other things. So they're unlikely to push through everything and get to me effectively. They can use the underway to avoid me, though. That is the danger. But I'm not too worried. Welcome, brothers in metal. Soon. Not ready for that war now. I want my armies to be in position first. I would like Akendoff to not fall to the Greenskins. I suspect they're going to settle it. Though settling it would be dangerous for them there. Plus, they can't settle it this turn now. I thought you could only search ruins once. The AI does cheat occasionally. But now we have expanded a bit. I don't know what it's like back there. I don't, I suspect they don't hold this terrain here because I can't see it. But no, everything up here I'm claiming for the Empire. Oh, let's start pushing that up. That's good. That really does help us, actually. The men are keen. Stay together. Huntsman General. It is time. Basically, we're going to hit there and here at the same time and have my other force here to defend against it. Or maybe here. If I may even hit Karak Domar, Oakenhammer and Karak Kadram all at the same time. It's dangerous something coming down from Ungor. But what we'll do is once we've taken here, um, well, we'll work it out. Extra growth out, and let's level these two up. And let's do our magic on Franzi there. Spent a fair bit on that, but we, we've got the prestige to spend, so making everybody happier with us. Um, 
I would like to take more of the Empire, but for now, I'm, I'm actually quite happy just to prod along with what we've got. Plod along with what we've got, because we control what? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five of the Elector seats now. Which, I... It would be interesting if there were Empire-wide events, so if, say, you, you controlled enough of the Electors, you could force the entirety of the Empire to go to war. But a uh, negative to your fealty and all of that stuff would be a very interesting way of them doing it. And kind of makes sense, because it would kind of be a realistic thing of, as in the real world, forcing your, forcing your barons or your dukes, or your, basically your, your, your land-owning lords to go to war always had a hit on how loyal they were. Depending on the war, there were some wars which were better than others, especially if they gained land in said wars. So, you know, if, say, when we're fighting this war, you could then choose to give settlements to the other factions. Um... But certainly as the head of the elector counts here... I'm just going to make sure they're friends with me. I'm not going to be fighting humans for ten turns. I'm not fussed by that. As we are not savages, I will hear your... I cannot do this. If you wish. There we go. I know it's a bit, a bit much to spend, but making I'm sure they don't go towards me seems like a good idea at the moment. That siege tank just looks... Awesome. Hang on, hang on. What are the other ones? Kaboom! Uh, disabled if you need... It blows up. An emergency event. Another explosion. So basically when it goes down, it goes bang. Equipment check! No. Huntsman General. One more turn and he'll be moving. The nation calls. Perfect. We're gonna push up there to Karkadra in the Slayer King's Hall and start uh knocking holes in the walls. Not that with this much siege equipment in our armies, we really need to worry about the walls too much. Um, like I said, I've got my plan for my centre now, and it really does involve those siege tanks just basically catching the enemy. Obviously, it's not necessarily as good for advancing and sieging, but I'm not overly worried. And that guy is going to just sit there peppering their walls with and um, breaking their walls as much as possible. So we free the dwarven holds up there. I kind of suspect that the, the, the greenskins are almost split in two now, which is nice. Um, you know, this little line it might not be much, but it's gonna make a big difference to fighting the greenskins. Especially as they do appear to be in a lot of wars. I mean, we'll have a look at their diplomacy properly next time. The only thing I would say I would really like is a port. And we don't have one at the moment. Because it would give us a lot more options trade-wise. Um, unfortunately, they've taken there. If they hadn't taken there, I may have been persuaded to just do a lightning strike down to Barakadar. To get ourselves a port. But that's fine. Could always go over and have a little bit of a Bretonian war. But it was too far away. Plus, I don't think I actually have military access to, um... Who calls? Yes, that will do. Right. I'd be foolish not to do some of these. 
uh, to start doing these missions. Obviously, the Chaos one, we'll have a look at. This is basically while we're waiting the other armies to blood the troops a bit, get them some more experience, because we have lost a lot of troops here. Um, you know, and, and to try out our new force. Um, a lot of this is pulling them into me, because we've got a lot of good artillery here. Um, we'll see how this goes. Curse the gods! This is the wrong location. I can already feel the absence of the amulet. And yet we cannot retreat. The retainers of Marbad, once ally of Sigmar and wielder of Ulfshard, stir in their tombs. We could leave this mess for Toddbringer to clear up. After all, this is his province. But alas, Franz would not thank me. Ready your weapons, followers. We need to put down these unliving servants of Marbad once and for all. And of course, there are going to be uh, reinforcements coming from somewhere. I would, I would imagine. Which target, General? The Empire endures. By my will alone. Right. You can go there. You can go there. Hell blaster! Ready ammunition! Our weapons are yours! Crossbowman! For Held and Hammer! Great swords! There's not much in the way of large here, so I'm not overly worried. Basically, I'm trying to leave that gap open, so these guys have good, a nice open range to fire. Ready for war! Spearmen! We are Sigmar's So they can move forwards from there if needs be. You guys can sit back to start with. There we go. Awaiting orders. Understood. In fact, these guys are going to engage straight away as well. It's going to help. That siege tank looks. Awesome. Sorry, steam tank. Ready for war. Missing that one, that one I hit nicely. This is exactly what they're meant to be doing. These guys are just sitting here, pinging away. Oh, let's put some more support onto that one. Drop some stuff down. Standing by. Spearmen. Great sword. Now get them. And you guys can push forwards. Formation march. Oop, here come some enemy reinforcements. Reform, please. There we 
we go. These guys are all disintegrating now. You can charge them from the front. These guys are going to come around the back. They're still miles away. Great swords! Tank the ground! We are Sigma's heirs! Great swords! The Elden Hammer! Ready! Demigriff Knights! This will work nicely. Hammering from both sides will be quite solid. I kind of suspect that it's my own troops which have done most of the damage there. If you guys can stop shooting, please. Just march through them. Crossbows ready, General! At speed! We are Sigmar's heirs! I'm gonna go around the back and slam into the both sides of that formation. The Empire endures! Great swords! No lingering! To battle! For the Empire! Yes, General! Yes, my lord. By Ulrich's will. Don't want to drop anything down on there yet. They're, they're about to disappear. These guys really aren't going to last long, to be fair. Just slam all of those guys into that unit. They're already disintegrating. Push through to slam into the back here. Not that it's going to make any difference. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Bring it down. My oh, they're already distant to go to. Wow. over guys nice they took a bit more damage than I liked but they did the job so one more step on our quest line I'm still not quite sure how I'm meant to be using those siege ta tanks if I'm using them effectively that is one tactic I read online which people do seem to use some people basically just use a line of six siege tanks and lots and lots and lots of handgunners behind them. Which kind of get get the idea of, because handgunners are quite good. Uh, with their armor piercing, certainly. But 
then again, you don't really want your siege tanks going up against a huge amount of arm pissing. To be fair, I did leave my siege tanks completely open there, so... That is also quite a risky move. Oh, wow. That's gonna not be done anytime soon. What? Do not waste my potential. Jeeper army. Let's turn the sound off on my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Why is my phone being a pain? Gained us a nice amount of prestige as well. We're getting there. We're gonna start the opening moves of this war shortly. Welcome to my private study. Yes. The expanding dwarven nations can have non aggression pacts and trade agreements and all that jazz. In fact, I should be trading with both of those if I'm not. And the fact that the, the orcs have been fighting down here hopefully means they're not positioned as well. That they have become more powerful again. But, you know, again, not too worried. I'm not worried about incursions here too much. Though I am going to get an army down just to keep an eye on what is going on. Because so I'd be foolish not to. Because there's a possibility these guys could just crumble again, so... So, Dowie crumbling. See, that's the thing, they did, they, they fought back really. Oh. Stop the war. Now then, Manlin, what brings you here this day? I suppose. Yes. In these dark times, we should. Anybody else who will actually right. trade with me? It is good to see fellows. No, sir. Is it time? Friends of the Empire, all right? Wait, what? This will bolster the nation. You are going to go have a look at that. And it is time. By the comet. Not sure there are more than enough people, oh my god. Okay, they are big enough that they are at war with Soddenberg, guys. So the greenskins are huge. To put it mildly. By the comet. Huntsman General! Forward to victory! Hunt them down! I told you there'd be plunder! Okay, 
We're going to go siege Zuffabar next. I know I'm leaving here a little bit vulnerable. That said, this, these guys are going to go pu push Karag Domag. Uh, I can't level full Sol up just again just yet. Let's start building some new walls in them. And iron! his chance of actually succeeding first. Extra damage is good. They're all good to be fair, as of a lot of these things. I'm gonna go for the damage to start with. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Much cheaper army as well. It's still expensive. Oh my god. That is a good opening move. I can actually afford to abandon some of these places to an extent. Uh, basically, my initial plan is to try and cut them off. So we're going to try and push across here. I may get an incursion down this way. Once we've secured here, I'm going to move an army up here just to defend. And then we'll leave a big army here, a big army here, and Gelt will and will uh, move up the mountains, clearing anything out. Uh, so if we flush anything out into the Empire, we'll be in good positions to push it, um, as well as being in a good position to uh, just keep the advance on. And then obviously, once we push down to Dowie territory, once we secured up to the mountains and down to the Dowie territory, we're not necessarily going to peace out. But we're not going to necessarily continue the war. I need to pay a lot of attention to the Greenskins now because they are heading my way with their agents already. And they are big and they are powerful. So while they've not got many armies at the moment, they can definitely be doing... Oh God. I saw it, guys. Arrange favors up my imperial authority. The nation calls, Huntsman General, to the provinces. You're gonna move up to what? Uh, now. Okay. Building a little force there to keep an eye on those beast men as they traverse my territory. To untame lands. Weapons at the You guys ready. can move on Zuffbar. It's gonna be a bit more of a tough siege. Forward to victory! As in it's gonna be an actual siege. This is what we trained for! General. Once we take him there, we'll move the other army up. Now the question is, do I push that way or do I push that? I can't go through their territory, can I? Approach us, friend, and make they, they love me now, even though they are treacherous curs. Sigma's will, by Sigma's will, a fool's action. The Empire, be at peace, for that is all. We're going to push in, try and take here, um, and then work our way north. By the comet. Pick up the pace. 
You can head down this way to support the... I will marshal the men. Here is a bit vulnerable, to be fair. Which is why we're building an army. Uh, to deal with that in that incursion there. That's obviously what I forgot to send support against a bit back. Basically, I'm actually quite happy for the beastmen to range around the empire, the other regions of the empire. Make them weaker, more pliable. Um, but they can get out of my bit of the empire. See, what would be nice is if at the same time I was doing this, all of the other... So as I'm... I wouldn't, you don't necessarily have to have the same thing. But as I'm confederating, what should actually be happening, I think, is one or two of the other... Um, you know... So, like, Toddbringer should also be doing the same. And Toddbringer has expanded, so sometimes I should be able to use my influence to stop them doing things. But they should be able to do the same to me. So, say I try and confederate, there should be a percentage chance that if they've got enough prestige, they try and stop me from confederating, you know, and all those sort of things. So, there's a lot more political g games going on between all the factions would be very, very cooler. So, they're all getting these same events, so they can also get fealty and try and confederate them. Be very hard to do that army gone has massively reduced the green skins though they are still very powerful you know that's equal to me and i've got three and a half army i've got two incredible you are one well, well i've got three quite tough armies to be there so we still need to pay attention here They really go straight back and settle there. Oh, you horrible, horrible mo blow. The Phoenix court in all its splendor and glory. See, that's where I should be able to drop that straight away. What does the Emperor bid? For Helden Hammer! You know what? I'm not sure I it actually want to fine. face that army. Yes, a sound plan. It is for the best. Sir? Okay. There they are. Target spotted. All their riches are ours. Outdoorsman. There we go. Ooh. Interesting. The nation calls. Yes, that will do. We'll see who's taken there. Looks like the orcs are beginning to crumble, which is very, very nice. I kind of gutted if I don't get that gold mine, but. Rolls in and kill! On the witches. Do not engage. Target spotted. Back off. Gene, having that on my hand. No, I'm going to leave that on. Not my hand. here. Forward to victory. I'm really annoyed at them. So my Imperial Authority is shooting up the right way now, um, which is very good for us. Um, I'm happy with how things are just now. We're in a good position. Um, I trust our dealings will bear... 
I still don't want to go full military alliance. The, or the green skins are crumbling. Considering how ascendant the green tide was, it basically they they didn't well, no, they probably overexpanded a bit to ex to an extent. So their armies were everywhere, but they're at war with bloody everybody, which really doesn't actually help them. Uh, which made them is making them very vulnerable. Um, which is good for me, as we can see. Very good for me, actually. So. Welcome to my prime. I will trade with your little remaining bit of chunk of territory there. What I'm not going to do is make the same mistake the other guys made and go settle there. What I am going to do is set up on the other side of the, bri the river. God damn elves. Huntsman General. Get a move on. Huntsman General. The Empire. I am the Supreme Picture. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirteen. So we're doing quite well. Um, anyway, this is where we're going to be leaving this one for now with our little incursion into the mountains going very well and the Dowie becoming reascendant. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. As always, thank you for watching.